like the source vendor, grab your tissues, guys and gals. We're about to talk about that new Logan trailer. I will warn now for light spoilers for the movie, but we will do our best to avoid I'm gonna them. cry just thinking about it. <laughs> now, some of you might have missed it, but there was an international trailer that was released shortly after the US trailer, and you should check it out. If you're wondering if this movie was going to be R-rated or not, this international trailer will give you your answer. It's Woof. Rough. Anyways, let's get into how heart-wrenching and badass this trailer is. It opens with Johnny Cash's Hurt, which just isn't fair. Mm -mm. It's not fair. As mm -mm. soon as this song turns on anywhere, everyone breaks down into tears. You could be having the time of your life at Disneyland, shooting down Splash Mountain, and all of a sudden that song turns on and suddenly the splash zone becomes a tear zone. <laughs> Everybody gets just soaked in your tears. We have Patrick Stewart's Charles Xavier and Hugh Jackman's Logan discussing the state of the world they live in now. From what we can gather, this is a self-contained story that takes place in the near future, 2024. With this and the Days of Future Past movie, any future for the mutants just does not look promising. <laughs> What the hell's wrong with them? Oh. We hear them talking about how most of the mutants are now gone. According to the synopsis, the birth rate for the mutants has been in a sharp decline over the past couple years. We see that Logan has turned to drinking specifically, it looks like, during a funeral. We've heard that this alcoholism could be from the loss of his mutant friends and the decline in his healing factor. Oh, I'm so sad. Yeah. We've noticed from the poster that Logan is definitely bloodier than usual. Maybe he can't heal anymore. Mm. And in the shot of him in a bathroom, it looks like his claw wounds aren't healing and his back is scarred. Oof. Someone on Reddit also pointed out that Logan's tremors in his hand could be from a decreased healing factor and the claws being popped. When people suffer from nerve and tendon damage, it can cause permanent tremors. Maybe this is a nice touch to his backstory, or maybe this is just the director showing that he is old. Or maybe he's got the DTs from being an alcoholic. Look it up. Still, every option's sad. Yeah. Speaking of old, look at our aged up Patrick Stewart. I think he's being kept in that tipped over water tower to shield his telepathic abilities oh. because in this movie, because of his Alzheimer's, his powers are unstable. So either this is shielding his thoughts or they're protecting people from his uncontrollable telepathic abilities. Maybe he could like mess people up without this shielding. Yeah, I wish I could be shielded from my own thoughts. Then we move on to see actress Sienna Novikov who will be playing Laura, a character that has been described by one synopsis as a young mutant who was taken in by the government to be turned into a killing a machine. Ooh. There's a more in-depth Spoilery synopsis? Synopsis. 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 There's a more in depth spoilery synopsis that we will read at the end, but it looks like Logan and Prof X are going to be on a mission to raise and protect her, possibly while undoing her brainwashing. We see a little bit of Stephen Merchant as Caliban in that cowboy hat and goggles, as well as the cybernetic game The Reavers, who will at least be a few of the villains mm -hmm. in this movie. They all seem to be on a hunt for Laura, and Logan is going to have to come out of his hiding from his lonely Texan base to be Wolverine one more time to save her. Aww. Then we get a shot of Laura climbing towards presumably Professor X while the camera is shaking. <laughs> I have a feeling that Charles might be unleashing a psychic attack on the men that are aiming guns at him, but it could just be a cool camera effect. Maybe, maybe he's like losing it and maybe she has to... Oh. Then we were hit with a part of this that starts to tear out our insides. We see, ow! ow! My heart! We see the heart of this movie. Logan, Laura, and Charles all sitting around a dinner table having a good time. They're smiling, being old and depressing, but still, you know, they see the good in each other. And then we see Logan laying on Laura's lap, which is really sweet. Ow, my insides. Ow. Then we see the Reavers in action. We get a montage of Logan, Laura, and the Reavers going at each other. Sweet kick moves with claws and guns flying everywhere. And if you watch the Red Band trailer that we mentioned before, you get that one final bloody shot of Logan snicking a man through the skull. We're left with a final shot of Laura grabbing Logan's hand while he was holding a shovel in a field, which could be a hinting to something that will definitely make me cry in the theater. Ow, you're so strong. <laughs> Now on to our thoughts. I'm loving this Mad Max color palette and tone with the Reavers and Logan's home, although it feels like this movie isn't just being thrown into a post-apocalyptic scenario like in Days of Future Past. There's just been a decline of mutants and it's just set in a more barren location than previous films. Now, not to say that this movie won't be depressing, maybe it's just not the exact story we might be expecting. Mm, I mm. hope to be depressed. Don't we all? I like sad stuff. As for Laura and her story, I'm going to read the full synopsis for the movie, which definitely has spoilers, so if you want to avoid them, maybe plug your ears now. Logan and Professor Charles Xavier must cope with the loss of the X-Men when a corporation led by Nathaniel Essex is destroying the world, leaving it to destruction with Logan's healing abilities slowly fading away and Xavier's Alzheimer's forcing him to forget. Logan must defeat Nathaniel Essex with the help of a young girl named Laura Kinney, a female clone of Wolverine. Oops, that's a lot of spoilers. <laughs> that's a hell of a lot of spoilers. So we're getting Mr. Sinister in this movie, probably played by Richard E. Grant and Laura. We'll have two claws pop out of our hands at some point during this movie. This also ties back to the Mr. Sinister tease at the end of X-Men Apocalypse. This could mean that Mr. Sinister created Laura, Ooh. maybe. But we'll have to wait and see. March 2017 is a big time for releases, what with the Nintendo Switch and all. We're both hella excited for a sad R-rated superhero movie and a Wolverine film that reminds us that yes, Hugh Jackman is a fucking good actor. A really fucking good yeah. actor. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you. What are your thoughts on this trailer? Let us know down below before we go watch this for like the ninth time in a row. Let's go ahead and check out Alaskan Bush People on Discovery Go. Check out the link in the description to learn more, but be sure to like this video, comment down below, share, and subscribe. This is Whitney. And this is Sam. And hey, tune in at 4 p.m. for a scary movie stream, and we'll see you kids next time. Bye bye. bye. It's blood, don't worry if you were wondering. It's not blood. It's a lot of blood. It's not. It's a lot of blood. If you've been waiting like a good little boy or girl for the release of Pokemon Sun and Moon to find out the entire roster of characters, throw those morals out the window. And how? I don't know if that applies. Very much. Good. Yeah. Ah, nailed it. Thank you.